Forger is a 2D open world game where you explore, craft, build, and gather resources. And in this video, I'm gonna spend 100 days in Forger. Will I be able to build a base out of nothing and obtain riches? Or will I perish by the hands of the monsters that lurk in the darkness? Alright, so let's get right into it. So we spawned in an empty island. Not really empty. With an island with trees, rocks, and some berries. So I start whacking some trees and whacking some rocks so by pressing escape i access my inventory hud wait sort inventory oh we have oh okay so first we need to build a furnace all right furnace first let's put it here with a furnace on hand i made myself some coal so we can eventually make iron ingot then craft ourselves an anvil let's keep mining keep grinding keep getting some oh we reach level two skills all right we have industry which unlocks steel glass xp foraging cotton spawns more often allows you to find wheat and beets that's food we need food more experience i think right now we need more experience let's get the magic and in order to craft the next industrial building, I would need a iron ingot and some brick. So I decided to craft some iron first, then later I would craft the bricks. And after a while, with enough material, I made myself a forge. I also crafted some fish traps as we needed food. And after interacting with the furnace, we're now able to make some coins, key basic shovel and a slime pickaxe and also a, a bottle oh my god my hp went down but we got some man stamina bar i think that's fine <laughs> honestly at this point of the game i was in dire need of food we didn't have any means of getting stamina and our health back but hopefully the fish nets i built earlier will yield us some fish so we can cook it and heal us some health and also some stamina bars also upon checking the menu button in order to expand our land i'll need to craft some coins or get some coins then we can expand the land after crafting myself some gold ingots, I converted them to coins at the anvil in hopes that we can unlock another island so we have more resource to gather. Our first sign of food finally showed itself as our fishnet caught a fish. Now, either to eat it raw or cook it and gain more health from it. For level 3, let's go. I decided to get the economy skill as it instantly gave me... 40 coins and now we can purchase an island also this unlock a branch called storage and market where we can unlock vaults and this is gonna be very important as we needed the vaults to store our items now we can buy land let's buy the cheapest this seems to be an area with a puzzle ahead and thankfully with my big brain it was easy to you know solve just looking at the statues, it looks like it's numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. I decided to hold off going and solving the puzzle for now as the slimes pose a dangerous threat to me. So I bought the land on my left side and there was a treasure chest here. So it was so I needed to make a bridge to cross and open this chest, whatever it's containing. With a fish on hand, I decided to cook it. The only fish we have. Hopefully it will fill our stomach. Oh, we healed 1 HP. With enough gold on hand, I decided to buy another land north from the land we have. And there seems to be a building here. After crafting some bridge, I totally ignored the building and went on with my life collecting resources. So there you. Okay, we're level 4 now. Upon reaching level 4, I unlocked the vaults. So we now have a storage for our items. And in order to make a vault, I would need steel and brick, which I don't have right now. And also to open the chest, I would need a key. To make a key, I needed iron ingots and gold ingots. So that's something to work on. And also, I was very curious about this cow, bull, whatever. So I killed it. And now I have like 1 HP left. But good thing we have fish. And also some meat to cook with. This god dang place. 
Level 5. Alright, let's see what we can unlock here. So I think for now... Increase base damage by 1. I think that's good. I decided to take combat as that 1 damage is actually really good. Oh my god, look at my damage! These lines are- Oh my god, my whacking damage is also faster now. Combat was actually the best thing to happen. Level 6. Uh, for the next skill, I think renewal is good. I wanna recover some energy while I kill enemies. Finally, I remembered about the museum in Lock, but I totally forgot. So I went to pay a visit. And someone greeted us. Welcome to the museum. Our collections are rather incomplete at the moment. Yep, I'm gonna complete it for you. Feel free to help me fill the bundles. You will get a reward for each one completed. Okay. It seems there was a lot to complete in this building. Alright, let's make the key and unlock the chest. The treasure that's hiding behind the chest. I have unlocked the chest. We got a glasses. XP gain increased by 20%. Okay, that's so cool. So, where is it? I thought that I could wear the glasses. Because it kind of looks cool. But it seems... I think it automatically applies to the character. The bonus. From, as it was an artifact. After more resource collecting, I reached level 7. I decided to take the industry skill. As I needed to unlock steel and glass. For our next items we'd need to craft since i had enough materials on hand i made myself a sewing station i was very curious what it can provide us with it gave me the ability to make some thread a small backpack and a wallet i decided to level up my sewing skill so i can unlock a leather and it opened up a way to get like the textile skill which unlocks boots and gloves i was self-sufficient with all the animals and the fish that were being caught by my net i have no problems with food right now so i kept going and getting more resources around me and making stuff until eventually we can craft new gears backpack we need flour 10 oh my god i should have started with this also now with enough steel i can finally make the vault now we can store some items in and we have more space not like we needed more space at the moment but yeah more space let's go I then crafted myself a small backpack since we have enough flowers now. We got a backpack. We got extra four slots of inventory. Also, I leveled up, so I took the textile skills, unlock the boots and the gloves. Unlocking new tree like the jewelry and smelting. So slime 30, what the heck? Oh my god, the amount of slime we need. Uh, points are worth 25%. Wow. It seems there are more resource gathering ahead of us. So yeah, I, I needed more slimes and other stuff to craft. The slime gears, boots, gloves, wallet, and a medium backpack. Oh yeah, remembering about the puzzle, it was time to actually solve it. So after uh, uh, an pressing number one, then I guess number two, number three, then number... Hey. Number four, we got a new chest. While waiting for the key to be crafted, I gathered more resources and level 10, let's go. I took the smelting skill as it made our furnaces and fur forges work 25% faster. I gained another level and I improved carpentry as it lessened the cost of structures by 25% and also the crafting station make, made me curious. I want this next. Gathering is next. Gathering is next. Gathering provided 4 more inventory slots and I don't want to pass on that. Alright, after obtaining the key, I opened the chest and I got a fish net and now our fish traps can collect themselves. Oh my god, that is a game changer. I don't need to go near my fish nets anymore. Alright, so we have money I think to buy a new land. Oh, there's so many monsters. I unlock a new land on my south and looking at it, there are like radish monsters peacefully resting there. So I'm gonna pay a visit. Killed the surrounding slimes and buffaloes, and I left the radishes alone as they were friendly. Wait, wait, you can talk. You are amazing and we love you. 
Wow, thank you. As I gained another level, I immediately leveled up gathering. Because I really wanted the inventory slots and more XP from gathering. Also, after I leveled up to 13, I all got foraging as it provided more cotton and allows me to find other stuff like beets and wheat. For day 6, I just gathered a lot of resources. I gained some levels, I leveled up the skill market, and also since I had enough gold, I opened another land, unlocking the obelisk which makes me gain more experience from gathering forgeables. And with enough material on hand, I crafted myself a slime pickaxe, which enables us to gain some jelly upon getting resources. And with enough material, I made myself a market. Curious to what it sells, it seems there's really nothing I need here. But see, it would restock, so I, I need to check it out from time to time. And also, I can now sell my goods at the market. We now have the ability to gain gold and purchase more land through this market. With the money I had from selling my other goods, I unlocked another island and it seems there was an old man here. I needed to visit him and talk, what, what, what is up? You are just the person I was waiting for, yeah? The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. That's me. I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. Okay. In order to get the torch bugs, I would need bottles. And in order to craft a bottle, I would need glass. And the only way to get glass is to have sand. And the only way we get sand is from our fish nets. So that's not gonna do well. So I needed to gather more resources again so I can make a basic shovel. So I can shovel for sand. I mean glass. Or yeah, sand. I went inside a treehouse, curious, and there was a cabinet here I could interact and it seems this is where I can change my appearance or where the items I gained. So I wore a fedora as it looked pretty cool. Yes sir, I'm gonna get some sand and make some gulas. We have a shovel. Well on hand, I dig for sand so I can make more glass and make more bottles and get the two torch bugs I needed for the quest and submit it to the old man. Thank you for the critters. You may keep these magic scrolls. Oh, we got a magic scroll. What does it do? Spawns natural resources around you. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm afraid the natural resources are going to stay rampant. Did you bring me some tree saplings so I can make sure the forest is safe? I have no idea how to get tree saplings at the moment. So I ignored the quest for a bit. So let's make our slime gloves for attack speed. Alright, with enough money on hand, I unlock more land. There was this land with a rainbow puzzle. It's pretty obvious looking at the rainbow and the colored mushroom. So I guess we just follow the color of the rainbow and we can finish this puzzle. And since I have more extra money, I bought another land, which there's this area with a lot of berries and a fountain. I wonder what is this? So red, orange, and yellow. The first is red. What's that? What's that sound? Oh, wait, what, what the heck was that? Okay, next is yellow. I mean orange, yellow, green blue and purple after i finished solving the puzzle i went up to see what was going on about that falling star so there was this girl fairy and i talked to her and it seems she needed 1000 gold holy i'm even i'm not that rich sweet child let my fairy stress your very body i am hungry <laughs> I need to ask you for a very small donation okay I will reward you with the power of my fairies. I should eat. What? <laughs> I eat the fairies. Oh my god, 1k? Alright, with 700 coins on my wallet, I purchase another land. It seems we unlock a biome that is a desert, and there's an NPC there, a prince. I also crafted myself a slime sword. Now I have an AoE melee attack damage. Lovely to meet you, friend. My name is Anna Banana. It's hard being a princess in the desert. No flowers grow here. A flowerless princess. So, okay, I have 40 flowers. 
these are beautiful. Thank you very much. So what do we get? I hope you like animals. This will help you find more of them. Wait, what's that? Anna's delight. Animals love the smell of it. Wait, so... I'm not sure what it does. Since you helped me, I want you to help you. What? I can make a rare form of clothing that will make animals love you forever. Bring me the material and I will make it for you. What is that? I think that's the royal lining. Linen. I need to unlock from the skill menu. Now let's see what this treasure chest have. We have a pop hat. Coins are- what? Alright, with this new hat, our coins are 50% more. And I have no idea what that means in this game. The value of the coins or the coins we gain. The reward the princess in the desert gave us is Anna's Delight, which gives us a buff called Glittery. Basically makes animals spawn wherever we are because we emit like a perfume of some sort. So this is a good source of meat. Animals just appear out of nowhere in front of our, I mean, within our space. With sufficient materials, I made myself a slime wallet. Also, since I had extra money, I bought some land and it seems we have discovered a dungeon or something. I still had some extra so I decided to finish the fairy quest and gave her the 1k gold. Thank you, you are so kind. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. I got a chest, let's go. And a wings. Let's go. We have a fairy aura. Provides passive health and energy. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. And so we can finally make a medium backpack as well. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chill, 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 chill fam. I did not mean to hurt you. I upgraded my shovel to a water shovel. So now we have an increased area of digging. Meaning more sand to gain from digging. I wanted to finish the old man's quest of getting tree saplings. So I was thinking maybe the mill has it. So I decided to make this area my farm. So the radishes have to go. Oh, okay. So I need like... God dang it. I need a lot. Hey fam, thank you so much. You have saved the forest from those guys with pickaxes. Oh, we need to make another key. Now what now? Hello friend. I have a final quest for you. It involves finding a rare dinosaur egg. Ah, oh, if I can get this egg, I will, I will be able to raise and protect the creatures. Having no way of actually finding a dinosaur egg, I'm gonna ignore this old man for now. These radishes days are numbered. I was planning to make this area my fiber farm as I needed more threads to craft more gears. Okay, the cottons are ready for harvest. Let's get it all. I'm sorry. I, I want you to go away. Go away. Go away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, this will be my farm now. I'm sorry. I can keep one of them, but nah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kill all giant beats. <laughs> Alright, so we killed all the beats. We're horrible people. We have a spirit orb. Oh. I can increase my stat with this. I choose damage ah huh. doesn't feel any different huh. maybe I chose wrong is it higher? I don't know and with enough materials I made myself a slime boost boosting my movement seed by 10% and giving me a 5% dodge chance I also am able to craft some golden gloves and boots now so I decided to make the gloves first as attack speed is really good since we can whack faster, meaning gathering resource faster. I also crafted myself some golden pickaxe as I have materials. Golden pickaxe gain, 2 attack damage now. May drop coins. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure on this new island we unlock, I would need a bow and shoot it in the eye. Because it's like a 
puzzle obviously laying out the answer in front of my face but i don't have the skill to make a bow yet so we'll have to wait for this since i had materials and the skill i made myself a bank and it's generating some coins every i don't know like one coin every 10 to 20 seconds but yeah that will build up and we, we can get more money we can also build more banks meaning we multiply the production by two coins per 10 to 20 seconds and so on neat things are looking good we're progressing we have a golden boots now which in increases our movement speed and our dodge chance by 10 percent so yeah more resource collecting just a daily routine of resource collecting upgrading gears and moving on buying more islands and possibly more banks for more money how much for a new land uh, to oh i can buy one Oh, what's this? There is a secret where flowers don't live. Well, obviously, we shovel it down, see what it gives us. And look, it's a chest. Time to make a key. Alright, let's go to attack damage and the slain enemies drop coins. We have a lunar medallion. Points at the location of the nearest star. Oh, damn. More stars. Stars are pretty rare in the game, unless you have like a bunch of scrolls. So yeah, these stars are gonna be very useful late game when we have unlocked the magical tree on our skills. So we can craft shrines and the other stuff that requires stars. Since one coin per 10 to 20 seconds doesn't really uh, help us a lot, I decided to craft two more banks. And look, this one already made 52 gold out of nothing. It's pretty neat, right? <laughs> now there's three of them. With golden gears on my equipment, I decided it was time to head inside this dungeon. But to my disappointment, it wasn't a dungeon, more of a puzzle, a skull galaxy. I need to figure out what items to put on all these statue pedestals. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So I need to figure out these riddles and put some items and I think we unlock a chest. Live but submerge in water, I die. I have no idea what force and strength can it get through, I with my teeth can do. What? I couldn't figure out what those riddles are so I gave up. And I bought a new land down here and there seems to be monsters with a chest in the middle. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, run. Wow, 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 wow. Is there a dodge? Oh, there's a dodge in this game. I, okay. I did the process of kiting the enemy so I wouldn't take any damage until I defeated everything. Alright. Let's make some bridges. Wait, do I have the key? Basic skeleton don't attack you anymore. Let's go. And we have three hours of addiction. All right, with enough gold on hand, I bought another land. It seems it's another obelisk. Let's see what it does. I keep unlocking another area that does nothing. So what's this? Um, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. It's a sword. So I whacked it with a sword and it gave me the chest. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but if I recall, uh, I couldn't interact with the obelisk because I still have the foraging obelisk. So yeah, this is basically an obelisk that boosts combat, I believe. So yeah, let's make the key. We got every materials. Okay, another spirit orb. Let's go. I'm gonna. Of course, more damage. A golden wallet. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we can buy land. Oh, what's this? I have no clue. Alright, so I can buy more land. Let's buy this. Uh. Ooh. This land's puzzle is pretty simple. Uh, each. I don't know how to call this, but each statue has like. 
uh like you know a shape it's like uh, put the sh sure put the object to the shape and you will unlock the treasure oh ah oh, another orb all right this time for sure i'm gonna increase my hp <laughs> at least we have four now uh, it feels more safer with four health Having six banks has been working wonders for us. Uh, the amount of gold we get per 10 to 20 seconds is much more than before. We have now been unlocking more land as we have more gold. And look at this. We unlock another land with treasures in them. And I think this is a trap. Oh my god, that hurts. Oh my lord, that actually hurts. I have no idea how to unlock this. I can I can try rolling. Just try. Okay, let's go. Oh! Oh my god, there's so many orbs. Okay, that's amazing. We have four orbs. First one, 5 health is great. Next, I guess, more damage. More damage. 5 health is enough. Or maybe 6. <laughs> Alright, so with some money on hand, I bought another land and it seems there's a blue statue. I'm honestly not sure what to do here, but I think maybe we don't have the means yet to unlock this uh, more money from the banks i made and now we're able to purchase a new land the island i unlocked had a mining obelisk which gives me bonus xp for mining that's pretty good since i mine a lot oh okay gain bonus from mining and after crafting myself to royal clothing i gave it to uh, anna banana the princess from the desert and we have another treasure chest oh it's a ribbon animals drop 25 percent 25 percent more resources and spawn much more often let's go there's gonna be more animal now 1.6k oh what area for i don't know what it is an ice area all right so we unlock two new areas after a long playthrough of 22 days i finally decided to unlock hunting now we're able to craft some bows arrow slime ball did not expect that oh my god what the hell what was that oh my god that's oh my god it's that's, that's crazy yeah fam all right so let's make some bridge real quick will this thing ever be destroyed i'll help you never mind oh look we got our bow the slime bow free attack damage and shoot arrows from the inventory i hate the fact that it needs arrows because i'm gonna have to make a lot of arrows all right, let's see if my guess was correct regarding this eye. I think it needed the bow. Oh, I was right. All right, let me make a forge real quick. Okay, what is it? Oh, a shield. What's this? Gives a 25 chance to dodge attack. So that's good to know. So I went inside this tower, which was another puzzle. And my small brain honestly couldn't understand how to solve this. So I gave up for now gave up on this crystal but seeing its hp was a very low i uh, helped this man and broke the crystal it broke yes let's go oh my god so many minerals well that was fun i was born to mine that crystal what am i supposed to do now <laughs> oh, that's so sad oh yeah we have a golden bow Oh my god, that's so good. By land. Oh, that is the dungeon, I think. Finally. 
And after checking it out, it finally was the dungeon. No more of those puzzles, but actually never mind, it's also a puzzle. <laughs> So we can, basically I just need to move these boxes near those pillars and it would power it up which would open the door. But yeah, look at me <laughs> figuring out how to do this. Oh. 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 This enemy is not- Oh my god, oh my god. I thought it was not gonna fight back. <laughs> I went on with my adventure inside the dungeon until I eventually found a treasure chest that contained the lightning rod, which was a game changer. Thunder rod. This was a game changing weapon at the early game as this was my means of mining very fast or gathering resource very fast as it just zaps through all the resources and I would gather it very easily. And after a bit more exploring, I finally found the boss key and opened the room to the boss. Thunder Elemental, you're no match for my own thunder. Never mind. I was confident I could beat this by just tanking everything since I have 151 fish in my inventory. I would not run out of health anytime soon. And as the boss near comes near its end or death, it kept summoning and move erratically, but I eventually killed it and emerged victorious. Um okay. We won. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Tomb Raider achievement, we got the Ancient Seal, a widow to those who beat the Ancient Tomb. Let's have the Spirit Orb. And we are teleported out. Alright, so let's increase our damage. Alright, we cleared our first dungeon in the game. That felt really good. And now look at my <laughs> lightning rod in action. It's so good, it's just breaking and everything. But yeah, there's an energy bar for this, so it's not unlimited. But it regenerates very fast. Right, let's buy some land. What's in here? There's an old man. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, <laughs> he gave us poop! My bird friend told me about the existence of golden egg. In all my years, I have never seen one. I would sure like to though. If only someone was young and awesome to find one for me. Oh my god. Alright. After buying another piece of land, I discovered a crystal dungeon. And immediately I head over there to explore what awaits us. Oh. Oh. This dungeon was full of puzzles which requires us to face the lasers to crystals to melt it so we're able to enter the depths of the dungeon. Alright, so turn this here, turn this there. What's this? Something we ride? Oh, it is. Oh my lord. It's okay. Oh, I'm iced. It's okay. After a bit more of exploration in this dungeon, I finally discovered this treasure chest that contains an ice rod. This would surely help us on our adventures later on the game. Now we got a treasure. It's a ice rod. Yes sir. So what does it do? What the ice rod made us do in this dungeon is we can crystallize this uh, lantern things and it would reflect the lights leading us to melting these treasure chests and other stuff in the dungeon. I then went on to fight the boss of the dungeon and it was a giant ice wizard. And I barely do anything but with persistence we'll eventually kill this boss. Alright just a few more hits and this boss should die. And it's not dead yet. I said, <laughs> I leveled up. Let's go. What did we get? We got a icebreaker. Or the only to those who beat the crystal cave. All right. 
on a spirit orb. Okay, so we cleared the area. After collecting some money in my bank, I had enough to buy yet another land. So I purchased this land near the bank. That's pretty cheap. And there's this another old man here. Hopefully it doesn't give us poop again. So let's go ahead and talk with him. I see you have found my tower. You know I am going to make you go fetch some items, right? Don't resist it. I have a special reward for you. I'm talking about my super special magic scepter. Oh my god, I need like... Ugh. Or provided us with three bookshelves. It drops some scrolls like the minor scroll, the star scroll, and well, other scrolls. They're gonna be pretty helpful if we're looking for more resources. So yeah, this is a good plus to the addition to our resource gathering. So I tried using the minor scroll, seeing what it does, and oh my god, look at all the rocks. Easy to break with our magical rod. More money on hand, I purchased yet another land. And it seems like it's a obelisk with a sword, so probably combat related. And there's a dungeon here as well. I, I believe this is a dungeon. So yeah, let's pay it a visit. What is this? Oh, okay. It's a combat obelisk. Entered the fire temple. And in this temple, I don't know what lurks inside. It looks pretty dangerous, but I think we can handle this. Alright, it's time to fight the boss. We got the chest, we unlock the demon hunter or in order to those who beat the fire temple and also a spirit orb. Nice.